Thank you. God bless you all. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. Before I start, of course, I would like to say a uh, tribute to our, our brother, uh, Hindus, where she said very nicely. And, and he was talking, at the end, he was talking about, the, about the, may the water bring a peace, may the, may the old bird bring a peace and all. And he forgot to say, may the Sheikh Ramzi bring a peace. <clears throat> because I'm very, very, very determined to bring a peace to the world. And by the grace of God, I will bring it. Simple as that. But is it take a time? If the Almighty God give me time, I will bring it alone or with all the brothers and sisters. If it's not, it's not my fault if they take me. I greet you with Islamic greeting, greeting of peace. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. May peace and blessing of Allah be upon you all. Before I start, I would like to <clears throat> say that I work, I work and live to serve humanity. This is my job. I do it anywhere, all over the world, any place, presidential, kings, queens. Or I work <clears throat> in the street with the poor and needy, sit with them in the city street and eat with them. King and poor person is the same to me. They are human and I am their servant. <clears throat> I would like to, I say, I say this is between, maybe, maybe it's out of the context, but uh, I met during my life speaking to the people in the street and all, multi-million people, one-to-one -one talking. And this is, I'm proud about it. Because not even a one person is the same. Not even a two person, the same. It's impossible to be the same. Seven, eight billion people is here and billions of billions of people came and are gone, not even one the same. That's proud to know each other to see each other. We may not seem again in the universes or multi-universes, or may seem in another universe, and I say, hi, I remember I see you. These are very, very important. This is a top, top of consciousness, which we're talking later. My brother said, of course, I find it difficult to talk about myself and what I've done for humanity and my passion, passion for the justice and peace. <clears throat> One say, one does not blow his trumpet. And I did not want to be seen that I'm showing off. That I done for him, because I done for humanity. If I done for humanity, if I say I lose the, lose the spirit which he has. Because working for Almighty God, serving Almighty God, you don't ask for anything. When you're serving the God, you do it as a sincere. And of course, I was, like, I was going to say, oh, brother and sister, can you Google me? You will find out what, I'm, what I am. However, talk to them, go very well. However, I'm saying here, I'm saying what I'm saying here is for all benefits, all to benefits. Perhaps somebody learned something and take away something of my experience. My passion is serving humanity and serving the environment in serving God. Brothers and sisters in humanity, I worked decades to serve the humanity without asking anything, anything at all. <clears throat> As when you work for the God, do not ask. Of course, in general, during the decades, I've got a brother here, which he knows he can <clears throat> say I don't. During the decades of working fundraising, I, I raised the multi-millions, multi-multi-millions for, for the people, poor people around the world. With the many, many organizations, big organizations, small. To save their life, save their life and to bring happiness to the families, which they very need all over the world. Does not matter if he was a Muslim or not. <clears throat> On the matter of the bringing <clears throat> peace and justice, which is a political, different things. Peace and justice bringing to the world. 
I've worked with many organizations, governmental, all over the world, or NGOs. Create many organizations to help and implement justice and peace. Be it Palestine, Israel, Israel being Palestine, Iraq, Pakistan, Yemen, Afghanistan, Syria, Kashmir, Kashmir, whole Africa being there. Bosnia, Burma, Bosnia, Burma, China, Korea, India, Turkey, Iran, and, and the reason Ukraine and, and all we're going forward. Never ends. My brothers and sisters, the story is a lot, but I would like to say a few of them which may, maybe, maybe we learn and join. A few of these, three or four, three success, I feel it's three success and the one failure. They're very, very important organizations. One was the Rohingya, <clears throat> Rohingya, Rohingya Burma. One million people, one million been, been uh, thrown out of the country. 25 to 30,000 thousand people was raped, gang raped, burned, stamped, the children burned, stamped on their, their head and throw them in the, throw them in the fire and the father been shot. It's happening, we have evidence. When I started, no one, no one would dare, dare to say, oh, uh, uh, it's too, too, too difficult. No one want to say anything at that time. Sorry, I'm trying to get my, my, uh, my train of my thought in the wrong direction. Nobody want dare to say anything. And, and I, I talked to them, of course, uh, uh, many, and I, I started. I started this when, when the people said, it's impossible, don't say I said, I said one thing. I said one thing, which uh, I told uh, to the, to the, uh, head, of the head of the staff uh, of armies, uh, Sir Hotel. <clears throat> I told him, he's a very good man, very good friend. And I told him I want to do that. And he said, do you know who is behind you? Behind the Burma? I said, who? He said, China. I said, do you know who is behind me? He said, who? I said, the almighty God. He went back, he said, yes, sir. I do, yes, sir. And of course, <clears throat> He tried to help, and at that time, 500, 500 or so several armies was, was here, and, and of course, they sacked them all. However, <clears throat> they burned and destroyed. I talked to the UN head of the, head of the uh, United Nations, Antonio Guterres, and I accused him. <clears throat> I accused him. I said, I said, is that genocide or not in front of him? Is that genocide? Said, I don't know. We have to help. We have to. I said, we are, we are, what are you going to do with the, with, the, with, the, with the Rohingya, one million? He said, we have to help them. I said, is that a genocide? He said, we have to help them, just like that. There, there are all, all evidences there, all, uh, documented. I said, no, I'm saying the genocide. That's a different with the help in one million. 30,000 people has been raped and destroyed. Is that, is that all right? And he said, uh, and of course, uh, he asked me to come and talk, and he said, give me the evidence, and I shall do it. And we gave her uh, slowly, slowly evidence. We worked with the United Nations. We worked with the uh, ICE. ICC's uh, uh, um, Fatou Ben Souda. Fatou Ben Souda was one of, one of the uh, one, of, one of the great, of course, head, head of the head of the prosecutor ICC. I brought him and I accused him. He said, ooh, ooh, ooh. When, when I said it's a Burma and China, ooh, 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 just like the hand in arm. In Oxford University, I'm part of Oxford University. I said, they are dying, they are burned, they are destroyed. You sit in here and are talking, whoa, 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 we are scared. It's a very, sen very sensitive, that's what, very sensitive. We talk when we went, when we are certain, we talk half an hour, and of course, within three months, she made the dossier, dossier which accused them completely. And the United Nations, of course, Antonio Guterres done exactly the same. I'm not saying I pushed them, I'm saying one of the little push was from me. This is what's what happening, and of course, today, my brother and sister, today I heard, we, we, we got a Gambia at the moment, Gambia and Argentina, we, we are together with, with the, I'm director of justice for Rohingya, uh, and of course we have some, some <coughs> friends here as well, which are their, their directors. Uh, Gambia, we are, we are taking 12 of the, of the generals to, uh, to court with the Gambia and, and the Argentina. And today I heard, I was in a meeting with an American, American organization, they said, they said tens of thousands of the Christian Christian in Burma has been raped and killed. Christians, wake up. And I said, 
we work together. He said, yes, we are working together now. It's today happened. However, my, my friend, it was Uyghur. Uyghur, or, or of course, we are talking about two million Uyghur, Uyghur, Uyghur or Uyghurs. They are in China. Before it, uh, I forgot, we, we campaigned for the, for, uh, for, the, um, for the Rohingya, the country, the government of UK accepted as a genocide. Nobody else accepted it, accepted as genocide. That was one of the things which uh, we don't China, China, two million, two million. Any organ coming from the China to here without a license, without a license, which my brother and sister getting it. I talked to in the House of Lords as well. You getting it, you buying it, 100,000, 50,000 coming from the people, coming from my people in China. They are real slavery, real slavery. Remember the black slavery is a real slavery which they are doing. It's a doom and gloom. But of course, we never give up. Remember, we never give up. Is for the people. They have been, they have been sold. They have been, they have been, they have been or organ has been sold. They are destroyed. Of course, we are talking three years. Three years. I started. Of course, I brought the head of the head of the Uyghurs in here, especially here, and took it to Robin. Uh, that, that was uh, Rahim Mahut, uh, Robin, and they do an excellent job. <clears throat> and we went to the government, and of course, uh, and, and of course, uh, in the parliament, and the parliament accept the Chinese. Chinese are doing genocide to them. And thanks God for that. Now, one, another thing I tell you, of course, is a very, very good one. I, I shouldn't talk about myself, of course, but I'm saying what happened and what we're doing, we're doing for the world, for the world. Justice and peace. There is no peace and justice. Justice and peace, the fruit of justice is peace. The fruit of justice is peace. It's known there is nothing called peace and justice. Now, <clears throat> we had the Syria. Syria, of course, again, <clears throat> I'm one of, one of the advisors of the MOD. MOD, of course, uh, the uh, Minister of Defense. They, sometimes the brothers come in as well, of course. Minister of Defense, they ask us, they said, we want to go to Syria. We want to go to Syria. Uh, what, what is your, Dr. Ramzi, Sheikh, that, that, what, what is your opinion? We want to bomb Syria, and America want to bomb Syria. We're going to follow America. <clears throat> and uh, Sir Hotum was there again. Two or three years ago, it was several years. And, and I said, Sir, what, what is the, how we can get out of it? He said, uh, if 21, 21 MPs say, no, we don't go. In the evening, I came and phoned, phoned my, for my, my um, uh, fellow, of course, uh, uh, MPs. And I said, situation is a very close friend. Situation is like, can we doing, <clears throat> can we stop the UK not to go and kill the thousands of people? Because when you go in there, 30, 40, 50,000, you can't see the, even the death. You say mission incompleted, but you don't know how many, how many children, how many mother, how many old people were died at that time. Mission accomplished. That's what they do. There is no remorse for it. And we done it, of course, within three days, we done it, alhamdulillah, by the grace of God, but she phoned me and said, Sheikh, you, you saved, I shouldn't say, saved thousands of people. We did not go, and America did not go either. And one of the great failure which I had, I said, of course, one of the great failure which I had was Kashmir. 20, 30 years old, 30 years I'm working for Kashmir to become independent. I was advisor of the <clears throat> advisor of the uh, interface advisor of, the, of course, President of Kashmir, uh, Sardar Masood Khan, for for the number of years we brought him here and uh, and and uh, and talked to him to see how we can how we can bring. Unfortunately, <clears throat> the people who were around him, <clears throat> which I said in the in the in the, the I said this is I'm saying it again in in the in the in the. In the in the parliament, we were sitting, uh, sitting down uh, about 20, 20 MPs, Muslim MPs, and the ministers, and the lords, and whatever there, and, and uh, he is speaking. The president is speaking, and I am there. You know what I said I said to him, of course? Uh, I said, Mr. President, uh, is your country got, uh, got the gold? Yes, said yes. Is your country got the diamond? He said yes. Country got the mineral, country is rich. He said, I said, these people were sitting down, they want your monies. None of them going to help you. None of them, and none of them did help. And they knew it. They just shut up. All them. I am saying it because it, I'm saying it, it, it is because I'm sincere. They can't say I'm not sincere. And I'm not worried about anybody. They know me, they're all friends. 
but it was a fact what I'm saying. Of course, said Dr. Ramsey, what do you want to say? I said, he said, he says, he said, if we want to bring it within 10 years, I promise you to bring it both if the, if the Pakistan give the place away as independent and if they, uh, we, we put the India to get it and become, become uh, an independent. What they said, oh, no, 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 we have to take it to the Pakistan. That was that I said, you're making a mistake. We argued, they didn't want to see me anymore. As I said, this one said, no, 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 we have to get back son. And India, of course, said, over my dead body. And they take it, occupied, occupied 700,000 people out there. Therefore, my brother and sister, of course, these, these, are, these are happening. But we never give up. They deserve to be, they deserve to be independent. We never give up. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, Entan and surukum. That means what the Almighty God says. He said, if you, if you help the Almighty God, he will help you and make your feet fair. I work for God, sincerely. I would like to say, of course, uh, the important thing is, my brothers and sisters, these are happening, all need your helps. We are sitting and we're talking and we do nothing. The people are dying. One thing I would like to say, of course, when you serve the Almighty God, you become conscious. Your sins, you become conscious. This is very important. <coughs> what we do, what the human do. <coughs> Excuse me. What, what the people do is, at the moment, the government, all the world, make sure you're using left left side of your hemisphere of your brain. And I tell you, go and Google it. It's only for the monies, only for the, for the, uh, for the luxuries, only for the thing, and no humanity. Right side does. However, when you work for God, the, the, the senses, your senses, of course, your consciousness come in. Two way, we got second, we got, we got it. Two first, first stage of the one or two stage is a humanity, just like us. Just think about monies, work, Bigger television, bigger, bigger television, bigger sofa, and that, and that, and that, and that. The third and the fourth and fifth. If you come to the sixth, you don't feel for yourself. You feel for people. You forget yourself. You totally forget yourself. You feel the pain of the people. You care. You become the servant. You feel the environment different. You see it completely different. You feel the happiness, you feel the environment. Therefore, you will become humanity. You will become the earth. You see different. You see the structure. Not just me, 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 me. You put the him, you the first. And that's called, they say that of course human is a Miniature cosmos. Human is the miniature cosmos. And that's the things which you get if you help the people. You forgot everything else and everything come beauty for you. God bless you all. One thing I was going to say, of course, about the Her Majesty, the Queen. It's very important to say it here. I met Her Majesty at least three times, shaking her hand and talking. And of course, I saw him in Oxford. She helped me. She helped me a lot, a lot. I have an archive with Her Majesty. And of course, uh, first to see me in Oxford, we talk and we everything else. And lots of things happened. We were five or six minutes, we were talking about everybody standing down. She find it interesting. And of course, when I went to, when I went to, <clears throat> when I went to the uh, uh, palace and uh, I was the end. Brother knows he was there as well. I was the end completely, and, and of course, Her Majesty with everybody else is coming. And she came, I nod my head, and she came and said, I know you. And broke her hand. I brought her hand and I said, Yes, Majesty, uh, you know me about this, 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 this. And, and, and she was great, great lady. After 10 years, she would remember. But she couldn't remember my name, but she remembered the face, and that was great for me. And it is very important, of course, I'm not a royalist, but I loved 
this woman. God bless her soul. And thank you very much for listening. Yes. Yes.